This is a BMW 530e. It's a modern hybrid plug-in car, which manages to be fast, quiet, comfortable, well-equipped, and extremely economical for a large four-door saloon car. It's very relaxing to drive and, um, uh, and it's also economical. Did I say that already? Uh, anyway, yes, uh, it, it's economical and it's also... Uh, hang on a minute, that's not right. Ah, that's better. No, the fact is that unlike the Alphas, I'm okay with the BMW going through the local car wash. Now why on earth would I get my beige car? Don't start that again. Unlike my Alphas, when you drive the BMW, it doesn't make you feel like you're having an illicit affair with kinky Bridget from the HR department. It doesn't feel that teeny bit naughty like the Alphas. And personally, I don't fall asleep thinking about the BMW any more than I would think about the coffee maker or well, the vacuum cleaner. It's intelligent, it's good looking, it looks great in front of the camera, but it has an annoying tendency to be politically correct and preachy, which means that you just can't fancy it. It's like driving around in Gwyneth Paltrow. So, my question is simply this, with such well-designed and efficient cars like these, what on earth am I doing spending my time in a drafty barn in the southwest of England for. Uh, Chris? Uh, um, Chris, uh, aren't you supposed to be loosening that? Hello? Chris, you're turning it the wrong way. Oh, forget it. what Gary did to my car. The problem with this kind of project is the more bits you take off, the more stuff you find that needs fixing underneath. Well done, smile for the camera.
Well, the simple answer is that I'm basically a sucker for rescuing cars in trouble, and in particular, cars that are Italian and pretty. Now this 3 litre V6 GTV is a project car of mine, which um, I bought recently, and I'm planning to upgrade to a high standard with the help of my friend and fellow alpha nut, Gary Fisher. Uh, now, this car is the sister car of a GTV which I tracked down on the internet. It belongs to a guy in New South Wales in Australia, built in the same month, same year, same spec, it's an identical car. Now his has only done 40,000 miles from new and it was owned by one person, so he's a very lucky guy to have found that, but it's identical and his is the yardstick and the benchmark that I'm hoping to uh, bring my car up to when it's finally restored. So um, wish me luck on that. So thanks for watching everybody, it's been good to see you again and hopefully you'll join me in the next video which is my 156. I'll be driving that one around, it's currently being resprayed, and we'll be taking a little look at that one and what's happened to that. So thanks again, if you like it don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.